What up, YouTube? It's your boy Fish Quant Nation back with another video today. Um, in this video, pretty much this is gonna be my small forward slash shooting guard build. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna make him yet, like uh, finishing or whatever. That's still to be determined. But I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go through the stats right here in this video and basically see what I'm gonna actually do with my uh, small forward slash shooting guard build. Now, honestly, I want him to be kind of more of like a all around type player. This right here is basically like a lockdown defender as a small forward, and I feel like with all the defensive badges you can get, a lockdown. It would. I'm probably gonna make like a lockdown type of build. Probably, I'll probably do like this defensive build right here because it's like a playmaking defender. So that way I'm not just limited to one thing. Cause with all the with all the attributes that I'm able to uh, upgrade, I never want to just be limited to one one thing. So this right here seemed pretty good defensively, especially with a max wingspan. But honestly, I just want to find the one that would be best to just score. And I don't know what that would be. This one right here, you get a 77 three-point shot. Right here. 77, 77 three-point shot with a 79 driving dunk. I don't know. Because this... This one's more of like a playmaking sharp as a small forward. This one right here is more defensive with a little bit of shooting. Uh, honestly... I'm going to go with this one right here that has a 77 3. He's kind of like a post. He's got a 90 feet. He's like a post um, shooter or something like that. I'm, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right here. Um, And speed and strength. I'm going to go with this first one right here. Yep. Has the highest speed. And yeah. So hopefully hopefully this build is how like I want it to be. Because I just want him to be like a dominant scorer. So first things first. Po since my post moves can go up this high, might as well. Ball handle, gotta put the ball handle up. And then pass accuracy. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that up for right now. Right now I'm just trying to see what is all the uh my max badge attributes that i can get so for this right here the max i can get is 20. let's go to my offensive abilities i'm gonna max all these out just to see just to see how many badges i can get with all these and honestly maxing out all this stuff right here I still got 67 upgrade points left. So perimeter defense. Shoot. Um. I wonder if I can get any defensive badges. All right, so I'm gonna take post. Ooh. Okay, so if I lower post moves, I got it now. I understand the builder so much more now. Okay, so since look, I don't know if you can see it, but post moves is highlighted. So if I drop post moves, it messes with my playmaking badge ability a lot. All right, if I drop post fade, it drops my shooting a lot more than if I dropped free throw a lot. I'm thinking because when I drop this one, I instantly lose the badge. Or a playmaking badge. If I drop this one, I don't lose that playmaking badge. 
Oh, uh, same thing with play or pass accuracy. Pass accuracy. So I don't really know how that works. I thought I was on to something, but I don't want to lose too many playmaking badges and stuff. So I'm gonna drop this to about a 74. Keep everything else there. Improve my uh. I think I'm gonna improve my interior defense a little bit. Cause I'm a small four. I'm gonna drop this shooting down a little bit, and then driving. I'm gonna drop that down a little bit as well. I just wonder if I can get like defensive. I'm not. I'm gonna put these back, but I just wonder if I can get like defensive badges. I don't. I just don't know if I can get defensive badges, which is the main thing. All right, hold on. I'm going to just drop my close shot a lot. And I just want to see if I'm able to get any defensive badges. Okay. I I don't think so. Okay, if I'm not able to get any defensive any defensive badges, I'm not going to worry about it too much. So, yeah, I'm going to drop some of this stuff down a little bit. Put it, put my uh, close shot back up. And, um, yeah, I might as well just have a, a 30 block. 60 all around in the defensive area. I guess it's serviceable. Put my uh, pass accuracy up. This name post fade up a little bit more. Free three point shot up more. Close shot. Max out the uh, finishing. And I think that's it. Hold on. Okay. I think this is I think this is it. I feel like this build right here is gonna be good defensively. Honestly. Six if I make him if I make him that one inch taller, he loses so much in terms of his overall stats. And if I drop him one, he loses standing dunk and interior defense. But then he's basically like not even a small four anymore. Because the, the plus one height, it drops so many stats down. Like your driving layup, your defense. So I think I'm going to keep him at 6'7". I want to try this build as a shooting guard too. Hold on. I'm going to go back and switch him to a shooting guard. And I think, is this the same thing that I used? Yeah. Wait. I think this is the same, right here is the same exact thing I used for my uh, small four. But I think I'm going to just make this a shooting guard build. Right here, I feel like shooting guard would be a lot better because I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna do the same thing with the stats. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna up my uh, standing dunk this time since I'm a shooting guard. And everything else, I'm pretty much just gonna max out. And then I still have 89 points with not putting anything in my standing dunk. If I do raise standing dunk, I still got 68 points left. But I'm going to leave that down for right now and basically just uh, put it to my defense right now. I still don't think you can get any defense. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any defensive badges. But I don't really need block or rebound. 
So I just put lateral quickness up a little bit more, perimeter defense up a little bit more. And I feel like this is much better because now I got max shooting, max uh, finishing besides standing dunk, which I don't necessarily need as a shooting guard. I feel like this build, I feel like this type of build is much better suited at the shooting guard and not as much small forward. Because I'm 6'5", which is two, which is only two inches shorter. If I do want to go to 6'6", six, six, it does hurt me. But I don't know. I think, I think I'm going to stay at 6'5", with this build and basically just be a great all-around scorer. Cause if you drop if you drop your height, like my interior goes down minus twenty four, so it's basically pointless with certain stuff. So I'm gonna keep six five, so I don't lose too much in any category. Of course, I'm gonna go lowest weight, maybe not lowest weight, cause I get a seventy nine vertical versus a seventy six vertical. So I'm gonna go like I'm gonna go one. 90 just so I can get a couple a little bit more of a boost in acceleration minimum wing I feel like minimum wingspan I feel like for guards you might as well just have minimum wingspan because a lot of guards is gonna have minimum wingspan anyway because it gives that boost to uh, shooting this also gives me a boost to ball handling but it doesn't really hurt me it only drops my block and my steel down and I don't really got that much. So, yeah, this build, this build is crazy. Because you have, you can get four different takeovers. I don't even know which takeover to use. Let me go back and look. Slashing, slashing might be pretty good. But I feel like, I feel like I'm going to go with shot creating. I feel like I'm going to go with shot creating. I don't know if the picking your badge, making it different is, like, it changes. I don't know if changing your, uh. What was I going to say? I totally forgot what I was going to say. But yeah, we're going to put him up to a 99 overall because that's that's fun. That's fun. And a lot of your stats, like none of your stats are really maxed out until you're like 99. Which, I don't know. And the thing is, I got two places where I can put all the fame badges. So this one defensive badge. It has to be clamps. You got to be able to stay in front of people or Tyler's defender. But I feel like I don't really need that. I feel like I'm going to just be scoring. Playmaking. I'm going to get ankle breaker because I'm going to have the ball in my hands a lot. Unpluckable. I have good post moves. So I'm going to get post spin technician. Really, this, this build can score in the post. Driving. Shooting. This it's an offensive threat bill as it said so if you want to get buckets go with this bill go with this bill because you can literally you can get four different takeovers um and really yeah this is just this is just a crazy bill man and honestly for the playmaking badges I'm gonna just go with a whole bunch of bronze badges Wait, oh, I can't get Dimer. Oh, I can't get Dimer with this. So I guess certain certain builds you can't get certain badges for, which is kind of it. Kind of it's kind of good. Kind of doesn't make one build too overpowered. Cause if I got Dimer on this bat or on this uh, player, it'd be cool. So increases pass pass fake effectiveness. I I feel like. All the rest of the badges I have should just go to silver. Because none of these other badges is really going to... Ooh, quick first step. Got to make that gold. Honestly. And then... Downhill, downhill. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm liking this build. I'm liking what I see from this build. Okay, acrobat. Deep hooks. I want to get deep hooks so I can... I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it, and just be complete, like, honestly, I'm getting a whole bunch of these builds. Back down Punisher is good for this build because going up against other guards, yeah. 
I'm just getting a whole bunch of these badges, man. Um, and these these badges right here, I don't really care about. Relentless finish, I'm gonna make that gold, and I'm gonna get two silver badges, which is the no, no. yeah. Okay, now for oh, I didn't get one Hall of Fame badge. I forgot you could get Hall of Fame badges. Well then, I'll take I'll take the two post badges out. Take deep hooks out. Make this Hall of Fame, and then throw in. Yeah. Okay, I forgot you could get Hall of Fame badge. You always want to have. You always want to have at least one Hall of Fame badge. I feel like my Hall of Fame badge for this build, for the shooting category, it has to be deep fades. Catch and shoot, you're going to need corner specialist. There's just so many. There's just so Oh, difficult shots. I got shot creator takeover, so I want to have that Hall of Fame. Um, let's get a whole bunch. I want to have this gold since I'm going to be sco scoring a lot. Range extender. Having this gold is just going to be crazy, but I'm going to keep it silver for right now. Um... This is this is a good badge for like pro aim and everything like that. I don't really I don't really think I'm gonna be using this badge in pro aim a lot just for fun mainly. I think I'm gonna get this badge too. Or nah nah nah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get uh, two more silver badges. And I I'm liking this. I like this build. I like this build. Offensive threat, shooting guard. You can make this build as a small forward but i feel like the stats is best used or i feel like the stats are much better you're much better all around at the shooting guard position but anyway that's it for this video let me know what your builds what your builds are looking like if you're a guard or a forward or something like that i don't think the reason why i did like this like a shooting guard slash small forward build is because i'm a I got two more of my player builders left for the demo. I'm going to use one of them to try out a different type of center build. And then the last one is going to be my complete NBA 2K20 player build with everything that I'm going to need, the height and everything. Because uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a center in 2K20 and I'm trying to perfect the height, the weight, everything so like he's perfect. But yeah that's gonna be that video is gonna be going up tomorrow my complete center build so be on the lookout for that if you enjoyed the video leave a like subscribe to the channel for more content i'm ready for i'm ready for 2k to 2k 20 to come out but anyways it's being a bullfish quantum nation i'm out peace